What can I say about a 97 inch OLED TV other than it looks beautiful? Wow. Just want to give you guys a quick reminder, the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit is still on its holiday sale. Use the code OLED15 to get 15% off your order and get the most out of your Dolby Atmos home theater. So a few weeks ago, my buddy Brandon, aka Be The Installer, was in my neck of the woods. So I went out to meet him on location as he was setting up and installing a gigantic, pretty gigantic, I think I could sleep in this box. It's so big. 97 inch OLED TV, which costs around $30,000. That is an insane amount of money for a TV, but that is okay. That doesn't mean we can't check out something very cool. Now the install was very intricate and it actually took about five hours. It went from daytime to nighttime. I did fail to mention that it is like six o'clock at night by now because it did take me like five hours to do this job. And it was quite the adventure. And I gotta say, man, Brandon, he really knows what he's doing when he's installing these TVs. Okay, so now that we had the markings up on the wall, we put the brackets up and we needed to put the brackets into a couple different studs and then put back on the knobs that will hold the TV over the brackets. Did that for both sides, make sure that they line up exactly 62 and a half inches or so, I think was what the distance was. And then we had to put the electrical in, so we had to open up a couple different spots to figure it out. We had to go past three different studs, so it was a little bit challenging. Put in the Legrand voltage box combination where it has low voltage on one side and power on the other. And then we ended up fixing all the drywall holes from the old TV mount and the new ones that we created. Good to go, and now we're ready to put up this brand new TV. Big round of applause for my man Brando. Good job, buddy. Now the customer and his family were very nice and very gracious. We were at their home for about five, almost six hours. Big into gaming, so he wanted 4K 120. The wife really didn't want wires, so they went with this M-Series wireless. And I gotta say, this is like one of the coolest things that I've seen as there is no wires going to the TV itself, except for power. Power, you still have to plug in power. Oddly enough, they put in a gigantic power cable that Brandon had to hide somehow, and he was like, whoa, this is huge. <laughs> You gotta Where stash that. It it's a wireless floor. TV. Look at how wireless it is. It's got a. <laughs> this looks like a king snake right here. So the client came from a 77 inch wallpaper TV, which was a really, really nice TV. Super flush, clean installation with that. And he wanted no wires. Well, his wife wanted no wires. Um, so they went with the wireless box, which I think is actually pretty revolutionary. I thought it was kind of gimmicky. And it was just kind of like, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work, but wow. I was totally surprised. You really have to see it to believe it. And he wanted 4K 120 gaming, so he's got that. Uh, she's got the wireless, and they went from a 77 to a 97, so 20 more inches on this screen. And it is massive, and it is beautiful, and I'm so lucky to have been there to just see the process. Now, getting back to the wireless part of this TV, I noticed that when the owner was standing in the doorway, the signal was starting to get weak. Oh, look at that, look at that. Somebody walks through that doorway, it's gonna, it goes to weak. It goes weak and then go to fair and then excellent. So yeah, it's it's minimal. Yeah, but if a guest is standing there during like a match, do you watch yeah. sports? Do you watch any sports or not? I do. Yeah, so if there's someone- Well, well, well you can still see it. Yeah. 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 It never shut off entirely. Like it was still there and that is really, really cool. I was very impressed to see that happen because I've never seen that TV before. You guys, this is crazy. 97 inch OLED TV, wireless. Wireless using this box right here. Where is it? There it is. To go to that TV there. It's insane. And yeah, if you have, you know, a car you want to sell or, or a kidney or maybe you know, a loved one. Um, you might be able to afford one of these, but uh, it's it, it's amazing. And it took hours for them to get the install, but it looks gorgeous. Would you ever pay that much for a TV? <laughs> Cause I know I wouldn't, I would not at all, but it was really cool. So uh, yeah, quick video for you guys today. I will be attending CES this year. So I will be seeing a whole lot of TVs and let me know what you guys want me to check out in the comments as I'll be excited to be there again in person. Can't wait. If anything, I always say, hit the back of a TV, never the front. And this is actually going where a 77 inch OLED wallpaper W7 is already in the house. So 